What's your name? Kat Kitson. <coughs> Will you give yourself to this program? Yes, sir. There is nothing that you wouldn't do for this country. You want the strength to do what's necessary. Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of The Bourne Legacy. Beginning more or less where The Bourne Supremacy left off, The Bourne Legacy is interrupted from time to time for news bulletins on the search for Matt Damon's rogue CIA agent, Jason Bourne, last seen jumping into the East River to escape his former handlers. Disappointingly, Bourne never resurfaces in this less than satisfying series reboot. The film is more a talky, convoluted, action-starved, two-hour subplot starring Jeremy Renner as another far less interesting special agent who goes on the run with Rachel Weisz for reasons that are never clearly explained. Renner of The Hurt Rocker is a formidable actor, but having him open with a half hour of eyeball glazing exposition in the film, one that fails to flesh out his underwritten character, does no favors to him or the audience. The Bourne Legacy isn't held by cameo appearances by Bourne Ultimatum co-stars Laura Linney, David Strayden, and Albert Finney, all of whom remind us of the sequel with Damon we're not seeing. Renner and the audience deserve better. So I'm giving The Bourne Legacy one and a half stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick and you can read my reviews at nypost.com.